Hello, this is Ben from Computer World. In this demonstration today, I'm going to show you how to create new Layer 2 logical networks within NSX using VXLAN, and then make these networks routable externally using OSPF to dynamically update routing tables. Before I get started with the demonstration, I'll spring up this quick slide showing us some of the new components we'll be using. So first of all, we've got the NSX Edge Services Gateway, which is also referred to as the ESG or Edge. In this demo, we're going to use it purely for routing, and it's responsible for north south backing traffic. So this is traffic going in and out of our data center. To create the edge, we deploy it using a virtual appliance and we deploy this on the vSphere environment. Next, we've got our distributed logical router. This is responsible for east to west traffic, also known as VM to VM traffic. And this is done using a kernel module that's installed to each host in our prepared cluster. Finally, when we create our layer two logical networks, these use VXLAN, which is virtual extensible LAN. This is a layer two overlay network that's similar to a VLAN. The main difference to, between this and VLANs is obviously scales to much larger, supporting over 16 million logical networks. So this is a quick diagram of how the infrastructure has been set up. So on the left hand side, I have the virtual components here. So I've already gone ahead and created three layer two logical networks the web tier, the app tier, and the DB tier. And I've connected virtual machines to each of these networks in turn. To make these networks routable, I need to give them a layer three interface. It's their default gateway. And I've done this on the DLR. So the DLR is acting as the gateway for these three virtual machines. The DLR is then advertising these routes to the NSX Edge device using OSPF. The NSX Edge device is then advertising these routes externally to my core switch. So what you'll see in the demo is if I do a show IP route on my physical switch, I see OSPF routes to these three networks, which relate to these web app and DB tiers down here. So in this demonstration, what I'm going to do is create a new demo network down here using a new logical switch. I'm going to connect this logical switch to my DLR and give it a new interface. I'm going to assign that interface an IP address of 172.16.40.1. Because there's a new network, it's now going to advertise it using OSPF to my NSX Edge which is then gonna in turn advertise it out to my core switch. So what I should be able to do on my client device is then ping this interface and the traffic should route through this infrastructure. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna start a ping going from my control center VM to the IP address of the default gateway I'm gonna create on my new logical switch. So as it doesn't exist in the moment, it's gonna time out. Next, I'm gonna hop onto my switch and run a show IP root command and this shows us the routing table. And here we can see we have several routes that are advertised using OSPF. I'm now going to hop over to my NSX Edge and run a show IP route on here. And again, we're going to see the same three routes that already exist in the routing table. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new logical switch. So I'm going to go back over to NSX Manager, click on Logical Switches, and I'm going to click the green plus arrow and create a new logical switch with the name Demo Network. Click OK to finish. Now I've created this new layer two network, I can connect virtual machines to it. However, if I want to route it externally or get access to other networks, I'm going to need to connect it to an Edge device. So I'm going to right click, connect to Edge. I'm going to choose to connect it to my DLR, which is distributed logical router. So I'm going to connect it to an internal interface and give that internal interface a name of demo lift. I'm now going to configure an IP address for this interface, which is 172.16.40.1 with a subnet mask of slash 24. Now I'm going to click next and then finish. So if you watch the bottom left hand side for the ping, what we'll see shortly is that start to respond on the network. So what's happening here in the background is the DLR is now advertising to the Ed NSX Edge that it has a new route. And then the NSX Edge is then communicated to my physical switch that has a new route and the routing tables on these devices are updated. So now, as you can see, we're getting a response on the ping. And so we go back over to the physical switch, run a show IP route again. And now we can see we've got an additional route in the routing table of the 172.16.40.0 network. I'll repeat the process on the NSX Edge and it shows the same information. So this means my routing table on both the NSX Edge and the physical switch have dynamically been updated using OSPF. Once I'm finished with this network I created, I can go ahead and delete it if it's no longer needed. The process works in exactly the same way. So first of all, I'm going to go into my NSX Edges. 
and find the DLR that are associated with this network. Double click while well, going to the interfaces tab and then just delete the interface associated with this network. What's going to happen in the background is the routing table and the switches are going to update and the route to the 172.16.40 network will be removed. As you can see in the bottom left hand side, if you're watching the pings, then I see we get timeouts. So now I've removed the interface, I can go into the switch itself, find my switch that I created called Demo Network and click the red cross to delete it. If I now go back to my switch and run a show IP route command again, when I see the routing table has been updated and the 172.16.40 network has now been removed. The same is true on the NSX Edge. So if I run the same command on here again, you can see that that route no longer exists in the routing table. So as I've shown in this demonstration, I've managed to create a new network using a logical switch and have this externally routable on my physical network. I've not had to make any changes to my switches or create any VLANs or even contact my network team at all. This has all been done within the NSX software. The whole purpose of this is it can be automated using NSX API calls so we can quickly and easily spin up new networks on demand and tear them down again when it's not needed. Using dynamic routing protocols such as OSPF and BGP enables us to have external access to our physical network. I hope you found this useful and thanks very much for watching.